I want to show you a MySQL client that I've been using for the past few months and uh, I found it to be pretty great. So previously I was using a client called dBeaver, which is a GUI client and dBeaver is pretty good, but it has a lot of functionality that I don't really need and often just kind of got in my way. So I was looking for something simpler and I found MyCLI. So MyCLI is a command line interface for MySQL, which means that it runs in the terminal like any other terminal program like Vim. And this means that it's pretty easy to configure and there's a lot that you can do with it. So today I'm going to show you a few basic workflows with MyCLI. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, jump into this directory here and show you that I have a sample SQL file. So uh, let's look at that here. This is just an SQL file that I uh, took off the internet, I think from W3 schools. It should not actually be real data. And I've got a Docker file. Docker file is pretty simple. Um, grab my SQL, set the database, and then here, take the SQL file that we just looked at and make sure that it is uh, inserted into the database when we start up our container. The command I'm going to use to start up my database container uh, is right here. So I have docker build q, which is going to build this uh, container and then just give me the ID. And I'm going to pass that to docker run. Uh, RM, so close this, uh, kill the container once it's done, bind the ports with dash P, set an environment variable with dash E, and uh, I'm just setting the password. This is all required to start up your container. If you're not familiar with Docker, don't really worry about that. All I'm doing is making sure that there's an actual SQL server for my client to talk to. Okay, so now that the server is up and running, it's time to actually connect to it with the client. Uh, so mycli, that's the command that we're running. Um, we give it a path to the MySQL database, root at localhost, there's the port, and the password that I specified in the uh, docker run command. And now we're connected. So at this point, I'm going to uh, put this on a different screen so that you can actually see everything that's going on here. One great thing is the prompt. I can see that I'm the user root at localhost and that I don't have a database selected. So let's see what databases are actually out there. So we say show, and look, it's got completion for me. Great. Show databases. All right, I want to use the sample database. So I'm going to type use, there we go, use sample. I'm now connected to it. All right, let's see what tables we actually have. So show tables. Amazing. And I can see that a few of them are related to students, so I can actually say show tables oh, like student. So that exists because I've previously run this command, so it's able to complete that for me. Now I want to select some data from that table. So I'm going to say select star from, and I can cycle through all of the different tables I have. Select star from student. Great. I can run this on another table. So select star from student report and I can add a where clause. So I hit up, get my last command, and then I type where section equals A. Awesome. Now, an amazing feature here is that MyCLI supports Vim binding. So if I bring back my last command, hit escape, I'm now in Vim mode, and I can hit uh, B to go back, I can hit zero to go to the start, dollar sign to go to the end, I can change in a word to student like that. Now, this probably won't work. Oh, it does work because students also have sections. So that's pretty awesome. One of the reasons that people don't like terminal uh, MySQL clients is that the output can be sometimes hard to read. Let me, let me show you an example with the join. So select star from student, join student report. I've already typed this in before, so it'll complete it for me. And that was really hard to read. So there's just too much text here. So one option is of course that I can shrink the font size uh, and then run that again. Okay, that that's one way about going about it. But let's say I had 40 columns or 50 columns. Well, instead of putting semicolon at the end, I can put a backslash G and now it shows them to me vertically, one at a time. There's also a ton of other ways that you can format it, but that's the one I use the most often. Another killer feature is that I can hit Control-R, just like I would if I was in Bash, and I can look up 
previous command. So show, there we go, or describe, perfect. So uh, any command that I've run recently, I can find them really, really quickly and just run them again. I barely scratched the surface with my CLI. There are a ton of other features. So auto completion, sure, colors, key bindings. You can use Emacs. You can save your favorite queries. You can do multi-line mode, which is what I normally do, or just do everything in a single line mode. You can output the results to a CSV or to a table. So if you want to share the results with one of your coworkers, that's an easy way to do it. They don't need to have a MySQL client. You can use aliases in your MyCLI RC file. So instead of saying, okay, I want to connect to an, a long path like this, you can uh, alias that to something. So maybe you do something like dev or prod, and then you just do mycli-d prod, and you're connected to the prod database. So should everyone be using this client? Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of interesting. With Git, a lot of developers would never use a GUI um, application. They, they always want to do everything on the command line. But those same developers would much rather use a GUI database client. And I can understand the reasons for that. For me personally, I want to do as much in the terminal as possible. I find it has a lot of flexibility. And uh, if you're like me, then definitely give this a shot. However, that being said, there are people who are far better uh, SQL users than me who use a GUI client, and I'm sure they have great reasons for that. The biggest benefit of MyCLI uh, comes down to the difference between a map and a calculator. So if you think of tools in, in these two categories, maps and calculators, a map is a tool that makes you better even after that tool is removed. So if somebody shows you a map and they take that map away, you still have a good sense of what was on that map and it can help you navigate. A calculator, if somebody gives you that, you can use it for a little while. Once they take it away, you're no better at uh, arithmetic. My CLI actually makes me better at SQL in a way that big uh, graphical clients never really did. I'm actually understanding the, the SQL that I'm writing. And then if I want to use that in my Laravel application or Rails application, it's really easy to transfer that knowledge over. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something. I recommend you give this program a shot if you're at all interested. I think it might actually change the way that you interact with your databases. I won't be going back to GUI anytime soon. This client hits the sweet spot between minimalism and productivity for me, and uh, I really like it. Hope you do too.